Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, I'm proud to present to you a very in-depth look at a quite rare and unique treat, the 1957 Cadillac Series 62 Coupe. And this is going to be a full, in-depth tour of the 62. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip and go over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as exterior. And today, I'm at Street Side Classics in Charlotte, North Carolina. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start it up, let it run. The exterior color is known as Leghorn Cream with green brocade cloth and vinyl interior. Beautiful 50s styling with plenty of chrome trim on the interior as well as exterior. Beautiful. Starts right up. came with the optional full power steering system. Very smooth and practically effortless. The vehicle also has power brakes as well as a four-speed automatic transmission. Reverse located all the way to the right, low gear selection, drive in the middle, and back up to park. And so, let's go ahead and cut on the headlamps. It does have manual windows. And we're going to check out the exterior, shall we? The Series 62 also saw a lot of improvements and refinements in the, in the 57 year, included a new tubular X-frame suspension design and the loss of the side rails. This new design gave the car greater rigidity as well as increase in overall length and wheelbase and allowed the car to ride a little bit lower to the ground. The front was also treated with the uh, new addition of the rubber bumper guards that you see in the front, as well as circular parking lamps located down below, and revised side trim with dual tail lamps, and short curved fins that were set inboard the fenders. Not to mention the modest fin overhangs that came over the fenders and accented the headlamps. Large expansive hood. Absolutely beautiful and a nearly all original vehicle. Chrome lower rockers, as well as fender accenting going above the wheels, and the correct Cadillac chrome wheel covers with correct white wall tubeless tires. Also, one of the longest rear ends back in the day, encompassing an enormous amount of trunk space and the signature Cadillac rear fins that pretty much set the style for many of the vehicles back in the 50s. The Series 62 featured independent coil springs up front with longitudinal leaf springs in the rear. It also featured four-wheel 12-inch servo-assisted power hydraulic drum brakes. Disc brakes were also available at a higher um, cost of options. And just to highlight a couple of the options, um, the vehicle could be had with what's known as an Autronic Eye, which basically, mounted up in the dash, it detects headlights coming your way from the opposite direction, and if you have your high beams on, it'll automatically dim them for you. As you can see, it also has massive wraparound beveled glass, and the optional manually adjusting side view mirror. Like I said, the signature Cadillac fins were a trademark styling of the vehicles back in the day. The exhaust ports are located in the bottom of each of the ends of the bumpers. And 
we're going to pop the hood, locate it right under here. The 57 Series 62 comes with Cadillac's fantastic 365 cubic inch or 6 liter V8. Produces 285 horsepower at 4600 RPM and 400 foot pounds of torque at 2800 RPM. Carter's single 4 barrel carburetor, the power steering pump, and the correct Cadillac blue painted engine bar. It is rear wheel drive with an original base price of around $4,145 to $6,500. Total curb weight is around 4,429 pounds. Zero to 60 time is an estimated 9.7 seconds with a quarter mile time of 16.9 seconds at 82 miles an hour. The Series 62 also featured a top speed of around 118 miles an hour. Also, for the 20.1 gallon fuel tank running on premium leaded gas, it had a fuel mileage rating back then of an estimated around 10 city 13 highway. Engineering is also probably one of the neater things about vehicles back in the 50s. In today's vehicles, in a lot of coupes, when you have the power actuated mechanism, when you open the door, it actually brings down the window sill a little bit to clear the door frame. This one actually has a mechanical one built into the door, so when you open it, it automatically flips it out. Then, when you close it, it hits a little striker and then brings it back down, creating a tight seal. Interior design is also fantastic. Opulent luxury and styling with plenty of padding. Across the lower portion of the door panel. Polished stainless steel down below with the Cadillac emblem. Stitched armrests. Manually adjusting vent windows. As well as your manual windows, door handle, and adjustable mirrors. You also have the integrated chrome trim in the door panel here. The trapes is on to the interior, blending in across the dash. The characteristic overhang here with the beveled glass. Aluminum door sills. Beautiful plush carpeting. As well as a manually adjusting bench seat. This vehicle is a true six passenger vehicle. So let's go ahead and see if she sounds. Fantastic burble from his potent V8. Shut her up. Good solid doors. The vehicle comes with an AM FM radio with one speaker located in the bottom of the dash there. To activate, you want to first pull up your antenna. So by pulling out, it activates a power actuated mechanism to raise it out. After you raise the antenna up, The neat system. You have a manually dimming mirror. Just switch it from day over to night. Down on the corner, 
slider and ashtray. And across the speedometer, standard horizontal unit, your temperature, oil gauge, generator, your turn signal indicator located there and there, and your fuel level. Control for the vehicle's vents, letting in fresh air, and your heater control located off to the left of the steering wheel. Different defrost settings, as well as warmer and less warm. I think it's also beautiful how the dash just seamlessly curves in. It is fully padded, which was an option on many cars back in the day, standard on the 62s. This pedal located right here is for your windshield wiper fluid. Down below is your high beam switch with your dimmer switch. When it's on, just click it and automatically flips them on and off. Also, in order to set your memory settings, just pull out the little radio dial, find your station, push in, and it's automatically saved, or memorized, so to speak. It's easy as that. And then just switching back from AM to FM. Alrighty. Push in to lower down the antenna. So, go ahead and shut her down. And we'll check out the back seat. The seats also flip up and away for easier passenger entry. Just as the front, it's a full bench seat in the rear. Rear illumination, cloth and vinyl door panels, your manual windows, they kind of collapse into the panel here. As well as rear ashtrays. Coat hooks. And middle armrest. So let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? And trunk space is definitely the biggest in the business. And you could just get a better view at this angle of how ornate the interior is. Absolutely stunning the attention to detail. Analog clock. Embedded insignia. You also have a lighter and ashtray on this side. 
good amount of glove box space, and the original owner's manual for the vehicle. Very nice. Indeed, a timeless American classic. Beautiful body lines, sumptuous, luxurious interior, as well as just an overall look that definitely demands attention. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth tour of the 1957 Cadillac Series 62 Coupe. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.